Hill if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook or if you've seen my blog on MadsonCreations.com you know that I do a mystery sewing box challenge or mystery box sewing challenge uh, which is basically uh, people send me fabric and I use that fabric to make a garment of some sort using as I try to use just that fabric sometimes I have to use other stuff to make it work but for the most part I use just that fabric um, and then whatever notions buttons you know stuff like that is stuff that I just have in my studio so this week I am going to be doing um, Simplicity Vintage Pattern 5189. This is a vintage pattern. It is a size 18, which means it fits a bust 38, waist 30, hip 40. The back length should be 16 and 3 quarters. The finished back length of dress should be 43, and the finished back length of jacket should be 18. Um, what I'm dealing with is I have this pretty purple fabric. I have two and a third yards. So two full yards and then a third of a yard which is 12 inches. That's what I'm working with. I'm pretty sure this is cotton. This doesn't have any information on it. Um, no information was given to me but from the feel of it, it feels like a 100% cotton. It kind of feels like a broad cloth. It's pretty thin. Um, it doesn't feel like a cone of cotton. Cone of cotton tends to have a heavier feel to it. Um, that's it. The jacket that you see in this pattern, I may not make. According to this, this is a 45 width. So according to this, to do the dress and the jacket um, out of a 45 I would need three and three quarters and to do just the dress out of the 45 I need two and three quarters so I'm probably just going to have enough to do the dress. I am going to look around my studio and see if I can find something um, in a pleasant color that might go with this that way I can get the jacket made out of something else. I don't think I have any lavender. All I know I have for sure is I have a really dark purple on hand. But I'll look through my hoard and see what I can find. For now, that's what we're going to do. When I pulled out this fabric, when I first looked at the purple, um, I actually kind of had a hard time deciding. It's a really pretty color. Uh, and compared to the last couple weeks, which I only had like a little over a yard and a little under a yard for the last for the past two that I've done. Two yards is actually a lot. It's a lot to work with comparatively. But it is also not a lot to work with. You know what I'm saying. So I'm confident I'll be able to set the dress out. Possibly we'll be able to get the jacket out. If not I'm gonna look for something else. I really kinda wish I had like a lavender jacquard something kind of shiny I think that would look really cool with it because it would still be monochromatic lavender and lavender but you know it would be one would be matte and the other one would be shiny or iridescent or something either way I'm just going to work with what I got and hopefully it turns out really well and then I'll stitch it up I won't do a video of that because I don't think it's that interesting this is not one of those patterns that other people will probably be able to make. Unfortunately, it is a vintage pattern, and it is out of print. Alright, guys. So, we are back. Um, earlier, you saw this fabric, and you saw the pattern. Which I will hold up for you again. I know we talked about making the jacket. Unfortunately, I had just barely enough fabric to make the dress. As you can see, um, it has no back seam on the bodice. So it's got a back seam right here on the skirt, and it has the double darts here in the back. 
and it's got single darts up here. It has a side zipper. I put in an, an invisible zipper. Um, this just came from my sewing supplies. I probably do have to buy some new zippers soon though because I'm running a little bit short. I didn't have purple so it is white. But it's an invisible zipper so it's not noticeable. And then we have the front which has the front darts, side darts, and then it has um, gathers here in the front where there normally would be darts. It has, I'm going to pick this up for you right here, um, it's a two inch hem. So it called for a two inch hem, which pros and cons. One, a two inch hem is really hard to do because on a skirt like this, the bottom is wider than the top, right? It's an A-line, so as we get down to the bottom, it's obviously wider than the top. And when you lift it up more than an inch, I mean already an inch is rough, but when you start to get into more than an inch, it gets really hard to make that fit because there's a four inch difference between the bottom of the hem and the part of the skirt that we're sewing it onto. But the pattern called for a two inch and whenever I use patterns for this challenge, not for my own personal work, but whenever I use pattern, uh, <laughs> we're back. Whenever I use patterns, <laughs> I like to follow the instructions as closely as I possibly can so that it looks as much like what the designer intended it to look like. So for example, if I were going to make artistic changes, I would have moved the zipper from the side to the back because I hate side zippers. But that's what the designer intended, so I put in the side zipper. Again with the hem, I usually like to do a one inch hem just because the wider the hem the more elegant it does look so like in this case it has a two inch hem when the wearer wears it it is going to look really really pretty it's going to look like it's not been hemmed at all right it's just going to look really fat flat and smooth and beautiful because the hem is so wide on the inside but also it's so much more work to do the wider hem so i mean kind of how that goes, but I really, I really like the way that it turned out. I think that this dress, this shade of purple, I really, really like. Um, even if it is just a basic cotton, there's something. Um, it almost, it doesn't have a sheen to it, but it feels like it does because it's such a pale shade of purple. So. I really like it for this dress. I think if I had made it into something else, it wouldn't have played off as well. Now, I know we talked a little bit about um, making a jacket, and there wasn't enough fabric to make a jacket. So, I went to my fabric cord, because I did look in the mystery box, and you know what? There was no more lavender in the mystery box, sad face. But, in my many, many bins. I have about four bins of fabric in my room and then also several bolts. So within all of that I found this lovely fabric. Now this is a fleece backed satin. Um, I do not know the fiber content. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it is a polyester blend of some sort. Now, I feel like that this does still kind of fit with the challenge because I did not purchase this. This was actually given to me. It was given to me by Kim. Um, she was my manager, the assistant manager, when I was at Michael's. So that was my first job ever, probably my the most fun that I ever had a job had at a job. I don't know. I really loved working at Michael's. Michael's was just like such a wonderful place and all of my friends work there and if I had gotten promoted to like a manager or something I probably never would have left the company honestly because I loved working at Michaels and I loved all of the people that I got to work with at Michaels. Uh, one of the things that I did get was Kim Winchie before she moved because she ended up moving away 
before she moved she gave me I think it was two or three bins of fabric she gave me so much fabric and um, I have used it throughout the years and I was very grateful to her for thinking of me and yeah so when I went in there I found this beautiful fabric it's black and it has little lavender flowers and I think if I make a jacket that's going to be really, really pretty. And I know you normally wouldn't use a fabric like this for a jacket, but it's not a real jacket, right? Like, it's a decorative jacket. It's something that you're just going to wear with the dress, and that's about it. So, um, I would say this is our finished product here. I think it looks really good. Uh, the dress, as you saw, I made in one day. The jacket, I started the same day as the dress and I didn't finish it uh, <laughs> I didn't finish it until very late on the second day in fact it took me longer to make this bolero than it took me to make the dress itself now I don't know if that was just because I was tired last night but I'll tell you what the instructions for this bolero is not the best um, Again, I could have just been really tired last night when I was working on it, but I did accidentally cut something I shouldn't have cut. Yeah, that was not good. Um, which meant I had to rework the whole thing over and over and again <laughs> to make it right. It is right now, though. It looks good, as you can see. And I originally had a button on there, and then I didn't like the button, so I took the button off. Um, this fabric was very easy to work with. Again, this is a lace lined satin it's not exactly meant for how I have used it but um, it worked really well it was very easy to press very easy to sew it took to the interfacing really well the biggest problem was really the lining if I were to make this jacket again I would not use a lining it does have a facing um, as you can see, it has a lining too. It does have a facing, so I would just face the garment. I would make it... Well, I mean, there are jackets that don't have linings. Like, that is a thing that's not an unusual thing. It is an acceptable thing. So, that's what I would do. The lining really threw me off. The instructions on how to put it in were not very clear. Again, I was also very tired, but I really had a hard time with the jacket, which is funny because I really should know that it's so simple, but it was not simple. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, that is my take on Simplicity 5189, Miss Size 18, Bust 38.